this is something I wouldn't ask nobody to go get. I really like that. Wow. Yeah. If he can cook, if he can throw down in the kitchen, oh, see, I would not cook. Mind. I would not mind. I really? Not, I would not mind. Listen, you can cook. Mm. Mm. Ask yourself, does the man that you're crying over make more money than you? Oh. <laughs> you say <laughs> preach, preacher. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> subscribe turn on all post notifications i ain't been doing nothing but coming back with bangers back to back to back Whew. so here we go today we actually went to where do we go it's called the exquisite way in southfield michigan located on 10 mile road and i feel like they haven't been there for that long but they was pretty busy when we went so tell them what you ordered um, I ordered the stuffed salmon. I think it's stuffed with lobster, and I'm not sure what else the other filling is. Um, asparagus, the bistro mac, and the exquisite fries. So it has a secret seasoning. Secret seasoning is it? They wouldn't tell us what it was. They wouldn't tell us. They hyping it up, so these they better taste amazing. So I got their um, shrimp po' boy and their exquisite way fries with. Listen, the only thing is I told them to get me some barbecue wings. They grilled my wings and put my barbecue sauce on the side. Who am I to play with them? So that's the... Uh, these wings better taste amazing. And I got their red Kool-Aid as well. And I'm not even a sugary Kool-Aid type of gal, but, you know, I said might as well go all out. I need y'all to just see. How this looks. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get it. Alright, let's go. Jesus, thank God. Amen. Amen. These exquisite way fries, I need to see what uh they have wrappers in there too. So <laughs> if the wrappers like it, then we might be able to like it too. Let's see. Don't even comment, hold on. This ain't exquisite. These taste like fries. This is regular, schmegular, and regular. Mm -hmm. No cap, you can do this at home. No, for real. They put a little bit of wait a second. Maybe no, it's just parmesan. <laughs> I'm you not taking the seasoning. No, it's just parmesan. I don't even taste no salt. Hold That's on. what I'm saying. Not to be rude. I'm a truffle fry type of girl. I like all the stank. I like all the Cajun. <laughs> I like the garlic. I want all the fixings. The fries got to be wet or well seasoned. So when I heard exquisite, I was just thinking like, socks be gone, socks in the streets, okay. not the. This is giving me, I really go to McDonald's. I was lie. literally about to say that, <laughs> this is giving me McDonald's. Yeah. They soft, these are giving me McDonald's They're soft, like who want a limp fry? <laughs> <laughs> this is giving limp. It's these wings that really. are like really killing me. Cause y'all grill my wings. <laughs> Like, did y'all even see them? I'm like, not even trying to be they funny, like but wings. they do. Not even no parsley or nothing on it. I, mean, I believe this is a black owned business as well. I would do y'all the benefit of the doubt, but I don't know. On the season? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Not to be real. Oh, but what one thing is the customer service was really good though. Yes. And we had a really bad experience with the customer service. Not even the people that were doing the food, just the peanut gallery <laughs> outside of them. So regardless, they the were very service, sweet. Yes, the customer service compared to the last restaurant I went to was definitely a 10 out of 10. It's time to get to this entree though. There it goes. You're laughing, what does that mean? Is that a good laugh or 
I mean, the asparagus isn't bad, but I'm not an asparagus connoisseur. We're about to see what it tastes like. Mac and cheese is good. Did you try a wing yet? Not yet. I can't wait to. Cause this shrimp is like falling out of, and the bread is. I'm so jealous. That looks the so bread good. is broke. My mm -hmm. <laughs> You keep laughing like, is this a bad laugh or? Let me try this again. Cause I know you lying. No, Reeve. Hold on. <laughs> Are we for real right now? It's not bad, but <laughs> so if you wouldn't get it again, I wouldn't get it again. Ah, uh, I wouldn't. It's one of the. I feel like I rank my foods and things that I would absolutely pay for with my own money that I worked for. Things that um, other people could pay for and I would still feel like satisfied with and things that I don't want anybody to pay for and I'm not paying for it. So I'm gonna use your videos to describe, <laughs> to put everything in a category. So things that I would pay for with my own money. I don't know if y'all have gone to the Brome. Brome, yeah. I would pay for that with my own money, no problem. It was really delicious. And I got all the nice things. I got the, you got the custard too, right? You talking about the, uh, the shake? Yeah. Shake was fire. Got a shake. That was delicious. Got fries, added cheese, and I got an Impossible Burger. And it was all really good. And I would pay for that again. It was $22 for a burger and fries, mm -hmm. but I would do that all day. I would pay for that on my own. This is something I wouldn't ask nobody to go get. I really like that. Wow. Yeah. I wouldn't even really want somebody else to spend their money on it because I just don't feel like, just for the price though. This was not, like, it was not, but stuffed salmon is going to be expensive wherever you go, but I've had better stuffed salmon. I'll say that. First time, y'all. Yeah. And after everything we've been through before we <laughs> even got this food, oh my but God. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not great. It's not great, but brown was great. I tried brown dog too. That was great. And you I love to support y'all. You love to support. No, when I when I watch her videos, I'm like, hold on, let me go to Casco. Let me fill the tank up. <laughs> going on the drive. But this is not bad. I just don't feel like I feel like for the portions and for the price, it's not like my socks are in the street. How is your po' boy though? Girl. It's really good. The po' boy is actually is good, but. Not a bad. I feel like it's missing something. Like you can taste the flavor. The shrimp is good. You definitely taste the shrimp. But is there any cheese on it? That's the problem. No cheese. But other than that, it's just pretty good. I haven't tried these wings yet because I'm still appalled no, at I'm... how <laughs> at why they made my wings this way. Let me try these wings first before we rate it. I cannot wait. And then the sauce is like. That's not even thick sauce. That's barbecue? Yeah. It Let's like make gas. sure. Let's make sure this is barbecue sauce before I get to. I'm really like. Oh, it looks like it would be sweet. Is it? That's what it tastes like. Straight sweet. Like sweetener or something. You want to grab these? Sure, I'll try it. Not her giving her food away. I do like the mac and cheese though. It kind of reminds me of like a grandma's. Mac okay, cheese. so it is good. Yeah, the mac okay, and cheese good. is good. The food is not bad. I just wouldn't get it again. But it is, you know, like if I was at a wedding and they served this, I would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, even really, they could they could cater. They can't cater my wedding, but like they could cater my grad party. <laughs> Or like a kids party? No, this is definitely not wedding food. No, it's not a wedding food. No. But that says a lot because I would get Chick Fil A. Well, not Chick Fil A, but Shake Shack. I mean, they can cater. They can cater something. Wow, and I still haven't tried that. Shake Shack is bomb. Okay. Well, I don't eat their burgers though, but the chicken. Can I try the barbecue? Yeah. 
It's like I like sweet stuff. So I like the sauce actually. It is a honey barbecue. I say it tastes straight like honey. Yeah. Okay, so we we had a good portion of everything. So what you rate it? Out of ten. Like a seven. I had a feeling she was gonna say seven. Yeah. Since so she she I'm said it's not bad, like it. but okay, I give them about honestly about a seven eight. Because if Paul Boy had cheese on it, it'd be better. If the fries maybe was like garlic parmesan fries. <laughs> like exquisite mm -hmm. okay and then my barbecue sauce was on my wings i'd be more happy that would be so good that's what i was expecting which is why i got it because i love barbecue wings so what holiday is coming up valentine's day so in the spirit of the holiday we have some valentine's day themed questions so the first question. Now listen, these questions are not for just are not geared towards just me. These are mutual. So she's asking me, and then I'm gonna ask her the same question. Right. She's asking me the and same. And we question. have to be a hundred percent honest. Right. Mm -hmm. Honesty. Re. <laughs> we are in Detroit, Michigan. Huh? <laughs> Life to you die. So, Sierra. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Valentine this year? Do I have a Valentine? Yes. The answer is no. The answer is no. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> you heard it right here. The answer is no. I do not have a Valentine. I've actually never had a Valentine. Let's see if you just knocked off any of my questions. <laughs> kind of. Oh, I need a lot back. <laughs> okay. Luckily, I have a backup. Wait. Do you have a Valentine? I have to plead the fifth. <laughs> know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to play with you. You said honestly. That's a good question. Honestly, you have to find out on my YouTube channel <laughs> that I don't have. <laughs> we said honestly, real. Okay, so I lied about the YouTube channel, but I ain't lie, I do plead the fifth. Okay. <laughs> All right, next question then. Next caller. Oh, your ideal date. Your ideal Valentine's Day date. Mm. Ideal. Wow. You would think I would have time to think about that. No, right, since I never had. Money. He got some money to blow. You say he find me out? Flew. <laughs> so it's a plenty. Okay. Flew all the way out. We definitely would be here. I would say a nice helicopter ride. Mm. Over where? Mm. That's a good question. Six miles? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um no over new york mm. okay tell like i ride over new york with a nice dinner very nice dinner things we love to see okay that probably wouldn't be ideal but for like maybe like oh what you eating at your dinner oh because you the food lady <laughs> mm. Who can cater your Valentine's Day date? Who as in shoot? If he like can what cook, restaurant? No. If he can cook, if he can throw down in the kitchen, oh, so I, would not mind. Cook. I would not mind. I really? Not, I would not mind. Listen, you can cook. Mm. It hurt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would not mind at all. An ideal di an ideal dinner though. Yeah, what do you want him to cook? Let's say he can cook whatever you want. He don't have no specialties. Alfredo. I eat Alfredo too much, but I would love some chicken and shrimp Alfredo. With a salad. With a salad. Gotta be a little healthy. It wouldn't even have to be like full out or fancy and stuff. Like it could be a small dinner for real. Some soul, some good soul food, good Italian food. Really wouldn't mind. I'm not that I'm not a picky person. Okay, your idea about the time is Oh my god. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so when I wake up in my mansion, I wake up to, um, okay, so ooh, I was going to say, let's say R. Kelly didn't touch them girls. You got to take that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, not to him, but like to him singing to me. But he did touch the girl, so we'll sing her what I want to sing. Okay, so I'll wake up to Drew Hill mm -hmm. singing me a song. 
and there are rose petals everywhere and a woman in the room next to us so that she can clean them up. I'm not cleaning up. Right. It's yeah. Valentine's Day. I'm not cleaning up. I'm not cleaning up. It's Valentine's Day. Um, okay, so then I go downstairs. Who's going to cater my breakfast? Oh, Rochester Brunch House. It's, or um, that place on uh, Jefferson, Le Petit Dejeuner. They can cater. My day ain't over. Hold on. Let me see. That was breakfast. We're still at breakfast. Couples, massages, and mm. spa. Yes, ma'am. I just thought about the evening time. She got the whole <laughs> day planned out. I want the whole day. As you should. And I need some gifts. Where of course. That? But no, okay, that's enough. That that was enough. I feel like having a disbanded group come together. That's good enough. <laughs> oh, a helicopter ride. I do love that idea mm -hmm. though. Oh, yeah, at night, helicopter ride to the airport. Then after that. We in France, Francais, Francais. We in France. Okay. Or I don't know, Belize, Abu Dhabi. Greece. Dubai. We somewhere. Okay. Okay, so then, well, one of them was the best B day you ever had, but all I've gotten dragged every February 14th for the last 24, 23 years. So this year, hopefully, we will be different. But pray for us. No, it is going to be different because we could make it different for ourselves. Which takes us into. The next question. Which is, do you think social media makes people feel worse about having a Valentine or creates unrealistic expectations? Social media, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Creates like, basically false advertising. <laughs> if we're being honest. Like that. If we're being honest. But we didn't have social media to show these different like to show everybody business everybody wouldn't be in everybody business basically you know what i'm saying it's a false sense of reality like you may think everything is okay because it looks like this on social media the whole time the the lights off. Off. Oh. lights off car getting told kids ain't eight they ain't got no air no heat none of that all you got is a Paragon Mobile and a Dream. You can't forget the baby shirt. Same one from the, the baby shower. <laughs> Advice for anyone that does not have a Valentine and ways to make yourself feel loved and valued. Basically, shoot. I'm gonna do this advice for myself to not have a Valentine. But even when ones out there who don't, you definitely have to love yourself. Um, put you first so you do not have to have a man to tell you you cute, tell you you beautiful, none of that. You go in the mirror, you look at yourself, and you tell yourself, self, you tell yourself, yeah, you tell um, yourself, self, self. <laughs> I'm like, huh, <laughs> self, I am beautiful, I am that one, I am worth it. You is smart, you is kind, all that, and God will grant you. The man that he has for you. That's just it. Period. What would you tell these younger younger ladies out here? You will rob yourself of your youth and your happiness um, being mad because someone else didn't do something for you that you could do for yourself. Ask yourself, does the man that you're crying over make more money than you? Oh, <laughs> You because, say preach, preach. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, if you mad, you're mad at someone on social media because they got the helicopter ride or they got Drew Hill to perform, but the men that you like can't even get you a chicken beater. Like, it don't even make sense. And it really be the problem that everybody be in each other lane. Like, if you would get out of my lane and worry about you, honestly, then you wouldn't even be upset. Do something on Valentine's Day that will put you in a position to get the things that you want. Whether that part. it's peace or material things, if that's what you're into, even though that's short-lived too. But how can you better yourself? Like what makes you feel good? Because you probably can't afford those things. Buy yourself your face. Buy yourself some chocolate covered strawberries. Okay. Send yourself some Detroit Flower Company. Like you do not have to have a man to please you. 
Not at all. And what does he want from you, giving you those things? Okay. Like a lot of the times, it, does, it doesn't come without with nothing. You wouldn't want to be, you wouldn't want to accept something from someone that feels like you have to give them something in order to get your chicken pita. <laughs> Go buy your own chicken pita. It's the chicken pita reference. Don't beg for $40. Don't do it. You can door dash for $40. Shoot, even y'all guys out there. Y'all do too. not have to, okay? Y'all do not have to have a female to feel complete, basically. Very your time is going to come. It's going to come. You just got to have the patience. And Valentine's Day, learn learn them every too. day. No, for real. Don't wait till Valentine's Day to stop dragging your girl. Your girl, yeah. your guy. Whoever, you should be kind and loving every single day. The more I'm eating the food, when you put the mac with the salmon in it, it's, it's good. I would go to somebody else's house and I'd be like, this is some good food. It's See, some and you don't put, I put barbecue sauce on my mac and cheese. What in the good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you, I was watching your videos, I was like, there's nothing that she doesn't get barbecue sauce on. <laughs> Literally nothing. Either salad, barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. See, if a salad, if I put barbecue sauce on my salad, it has to have chicken in it. That's the only way. Literally the only way. This one. I love my condiments. Mm. I'm going to continue to tell y'all that in every video. I love my condiments. <laughs> oh, they trying to cool it. Oh, yeah. I know how it's on straw. Don't have that. I think I left it in it the car. They, it looks so good. I think it's because I'm They need to put no ice in it. You didn't want to pay for no air anyways. Oh, it's thick and it. Eat. It's good though. Kayla, this is better than the uh, one you had. Oh, wait, oh, I'm dirty. I'm dead. <laughs> they have between red and um, what she said. She was like, You want red or purple? I said, Oh, just give me the red, sis. That's not like ATO. She did. She said it just like that. Brad, y'all. My po boy is gone. I smashed that. That was good. Um, these wings, I'm really kind of upset with. I'm still eat them because I pay for them. So it's just what it is. These fries might just give them to the birds for nineteen dollars per fry. <laughs> you gotta eat them too. <laughs> um, thank you, Rihanna, for doing this video with me. I hope y'all learned something. All right, you guys. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with Must Try Restaurants in Michigan. <clears throat> y'all let me know what restaurants y'all want me to try i am willing to go wherever okay so just let me know comment down below thanks for tuning in with your girl see it's just me being me